please welcome to this show the king of the Powerbomb Symphony, Mr. Mayhem, Michael Austin Warlow, or better known as AW Superstar, the man they call Warlow! Yes. Man, I didn't realize I had such an impressive resume until just now. Hi, Warlow. Welcome to the show. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Amazing. I'm feeling uh, better about myself after hearing all my accomplishments in wrestling. I am so excited to have you on my show today, almost as much as I was when I got to meet you in person in Toronto back in October. I remember. Let me rephrase that two times in the same week in Toronto, both at AEW and Greektown Wrestling. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I remember meeting you outside of the show for AEW. Yeah. Before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you for coming, taking the time to come on my show today. And it means the world to me. Now, before we get into the wrestling questions, I like to play a little game called Getting to Know Wardlow. Are you ready to play? I'm ready. Okay. The only rules are you have to have fun, and most importantly, the most important rule of all, be yourself. All right, I usually don't follow rules, but those are two I can follow. Yes. <laughs> okay, here is the toughest question in, uh, of this whole interview. I like to get it out of the way right off the bat to make sure your thinking cap is on. Are you ready? Yes. Make sure you're ready. I'm ready. What is your favorite color? Black. I know it's technically not a color, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> As many would say, it's most wonderful time of the year. What is your favorite holiday tradition? Uh, my favorite Christmas tradition? Yes. Uh, I think... I think it's become every Christmas Eve, we have a pajama party um, at my sister's house with my family. So Christmas Eve, we all dress in our pajamas and we eat breakfast for dinner and exchange gifts. Wow, that's nice. For me, it's got to be, it's got to be making that Christmas delicious dessert that my mom makes. It's, it's like a smoothie with jello and whipped cream inside. What? Yeah, that sounds really good. I love smoothies. What are you drinking? Peach Quencher from Tim Hortons. Nice. Okay. Now they, now there are many different Christmas movies out there. And my mom's favorite, though, I don't think is a Christmas movie. It, it is Die Hard. Well, that and Home Alone, which is my favorite movie so what is one what is one christmas movie you have to watch every single year so actually um you took mine it was die hard <laughs> and i was like <laughs> yeah i just had this conversation with somebody yesterday I was like, yeah, Die Hard's absolutely a Christmas movie. They're at a Christmas party. I don't think it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> not, your, <laughs> not, your, not your traditional Christmas movie. So she's like, it's a Christmas movie. I'm like, what's it about? Terrorist. I'm like, oh, great message to the kids. Great message. Yeah, it's not the most uh, kid-friendly <laughs> Christmas movie, but uh, I prefer oh, my whoa, Santa whoa. with a 9 millimeter. <laughs> <clears throat> Question number four: What was your what if what would you wish for if you could could wish for three things this holiday season? Oh, three things this holiday season. All right, um, good health, um, for my loved ones to have good health. And for world peace. Wow, that's a, that's an amazing wish. Those amazing wishes. 
Yes, I'm nothing without my health, and the world needs to get its stuff together. So we'll go with that. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have, to, <laughs> I have to say this. I have been holding in. I'm like, should I tell him? I don't know. I was talking to a wrestler yesterday that I know. Uh huh. He was at a restaurant and he saw you order like three big plates of food. He's like, yeah, he's a big, big man. So it is becoming, uh, I'm becoming infamous for my uh, meals. And yeah, I do eat about 4,000 calories a day. Uh, so, so yeah, we eat some big meals in Wardlow's world. So you're becoming infamous for your meals and the rock is coming infamous for his cheat days. Yes. Which I am, uh, which I've, I've, taken a few plays out of his playbook for cheat day and I, i've been enjoy, enjoying some of those meals as well i must know though since we're talking about this yeah you said you just said you took some cheat days from him yeah have you eaten have you eaten the 12 pancakes okay so i i love pancakes i do do pancakes sometimes but my go-to is french toast yeah yeah there this is my guy right here Yes, French toast over everything. Yep, French toast sticks, delicious. The best. My my top tiers for for breakfast would be like first French toast, then waffles, then pancakes, then bacon and eggs. French toast, waffle, pancakes. See, I go French toast, pancake, waffle. Interesting. Do you like blueberries in your pancakes or waffles? Um, usually I really eat them bland, but then, but there's also sometimes I mix it up and I go blueberries, which I can't really eat from my mom because she makes pancakes. But I also eat chocolate ones. I like those. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I prefer plain. Every once in a while, I'll throw some blueberries in there. Yeah. We're, we're literally like alike. I think so. How do you like your pizza? Do you like pizza, plain cheese pizza, or do you like a bunch of toppings? Pepperoni cheese. Pepperoni Every cheese. Every okay. day, all day. The only way I'll actually say cheese pizza is from Pizza Pizza. Okay. Canadian restaurant. It's good taste. What about you? What's your favorite like topping of pizza? I like a plain cheese pizza. Yep. I love okay. cheese pizza. Yeah, sometimes uh like a pepperoni pepperoni mushroom, but yeah, usually just plain cheese. Okay, but I must twisty twenty, twisty twenty. Two questions. A twisty twenty on this channel is like a question I just came up with. It's not in the script. Okay. Okay. So, do you prefer pineapple or non pineapple on pizza? I'm a, I'm a big no pineapple on pizza guy. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. Not not my cup of tea. I like I like if I can just get like some juice pineapple pizza, like and just juice on it, that would be fine with me. But just the chunks don't suit well with me. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those don't also, mix. Whoa, I was gonna say, dang it! Oh man, you forgot your other one. I have, I have memory problems. Me and you both, buddy. So wait, we got off track. So let's get back to the script. Let's get back on track. What do you got? Oh, I remember what I just was gonna say. Hmm. So if you like cheese pizza, don't ever get COVID. Don't ever get does COVID. It, does it ruin it? When you eat cheese pizza and you lose your taste, it just tastes like dough. It really does. It tastes oh, like that's just so dough. good. Do you like ranch dressing with your pizza? I usually do ketchup sometimes, but mostly just plain. plain. Ketchup with pizza? Sometimes. Oh, man, that's a new one. Okay. It's, it, I'm Canadian. <laughs> but I must say, if you're going to try ketchup on pizza, don't do it with pepperonis. Okay. Don't do it with pepperonis. Deal. Okay. <laughs> now back to the script. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, oh, well, unfortunately, I don't get to do fast food restaurants often, but 
Um, once every probably six months, I go to McDonald's and I get a Big Mac with fries and a bunch of chicken nuggets and a hot fudge sundae if the if if the ice cream machine's working. <laughs> I got lucky for a week because when I had like my tonsil surgery, like my surgery, uh-huh. the ice cream machine wasn't broken for the whole week that I was recovered. Oh, uh, lucky you. I remember I got my tonsils out. I lived on uh, popsicles for a couple weeks. Lots of popsicles. Because the doctor, it was actually like a uvula surgery that they like, were like my uvula used to be right here. Okay. Like the punching bag. Uh huh. They. They reconstructed it to go up. Oh, no kidding. So my throat, they released me early, so I got very sick, and my throat, like, hurt so much. So I had to eat ice cream. And if you don't ever go back to McDonald's, ever, ever, I need you to try something. What you got? A McCrisp, if you have that. A McCrisp? It's like a crispy chicken sandwich with potato buns on top of it. And you can put, like, this, there's uh, there's barbecue sauce on it. You can get a spicy version. It's delicious. I don't know if we have McCrisps. I'm going to ask for it, though, next time I go there. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, okay. I will. Oh, man. Okay. We, you used to wrestle... At the recently came and recently came back to Greek Town Wrestling here in Toronto. What is your favorite Canadian food to get when you're here in Toronto? Ooh. All right. So actually, I don't know if I know the correct. Um, is it, uh, I think, Greek food? Yeah, when I was in Greek Town, we went to a place. Uh, where I got like a chicken pita and it was so good. It was like rice and chicken. Um, but yeah, just like a normal, like a chicken gyro is my go-to. Okay. Onion, onion, the cucumber sauce. I don't I do tomatoes say, though. I would say you need, when you, try, first of all, you asked me, so I gotta ask you, what are you drinking? Um, this is my pre-workout because as soon as I get off this, I'm walking into the gym. Uh, this is my pre-workout, which is apple juice and beet juice, fresh apple and beet juice. Uh, the apple juice for carbohydrates and the beet juice, um, is a natural nitric oxide. So it gives you oxygen and blood flow. Wow. I can just, I can just imagine you squeezing the apple, the juice out of the apple. Like... <laughs> That's how I do it. No need for machines. But, so was the Greek restaurant that you went to, um, Astoria Danforth? Honestly, I think it was. It was literally right down. It was like right next door to that, to where we were. Where you, where you, where you went out with the apple? <laughs> <laughs> but we're talking about Greek food. I know I have so happened to know the best Greek food restaurant in Toronto, Canada. What's that? Go to Sheridan Mall. Okay. Go to El Greco. It's on the bottom floor in the basement. They see me grow up and my brother. Their chicken and the rice, they have sticky rice there, and there's they have a homemade recipe and everything. It's delicious. Okay, uh, I I plan on getting back to Canada soon, so I will try it out. Maybe uh, I'll I'll be your bodyguard for that day. Like I'll I'll shadow you and stuff. Like you know what I mean? We might be able to work that out. Yes. You you gonna okay. come to the gym with me? Uh yeah, I'll be your your spotter. Your spotter. All right, deal. Okay. What is one thing? Either food or item, one of my favorite questions. This is one of my favorite questions. You would love to bring back today. A food or an item? Yeah. What, that no, that's no longer around? Yeah. Ooh. So, I don't know. The first place in my mind went, especially thinking of Canada, 
I would, I wish we had our Toys R Us. All the Toys R Us by me closed down. And when I was in Canada, I went to a couple Toys R Uses in Canada just because I haven't been one in years. Okay. I heard they're bringing back that back to America. I heard it. I actually heard that too. So I'm hoping that's the truth because it, it would be a dream come true to find my action figure in a Toys R Us. Bro, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay. For me, it would probably be because my mom keeps bragging it in my face. Some well, McDonald's, so McDonald's pizza. Whoa, when did they do that? See, she's When she was growing up, there was something called McDonald's pizza. She said it's literally one of the best pizzas she's ever tasted in her life. Yeah, I am not familiar about the, the McPizza. I'm like, oh, come on! Why do you get all the good stuff back in the day? Mm, I don't know if that's the truth. You, you get it. You kids got a lot of good stuff now. I think it's a fair trade because we get the technology and they get the food related stuff. <laughs> Some tells me the food they were eating back then wasn't really good anyway. I don't know if it's yeah. getting better or I don't know if it's getting better or worse though. I mean, now we have like more stuff to choose by. This is true. At least we have the choice to be healthy, we think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where is your where is one place you would love to visit that you haven't visited yet? And where would is your favorite place to travel to? Okay. So the pl- places on my bucket list. Um, I really want to go to Italy. Uh, I think it's just beautiful there. And I'm Italian. So, uh, my, yeah, I want to my- go. I, I want to go experience some real pizza. Um and then I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Uh, big fan of the water, sand, palm trees, uh, anything tropical. So I think that's my top two bucket list travel places. Um, I love traveling to Texas. Uh, I just I feel like I have like a weird connection with Texas through my father. Um, and then every time I go there, the fans are so receptive to me. I just feel like the the Texas fans give me a little extra love. Um, So I always feel a little more appreciated in Texas. And then I love traveling to Miami because it's Miami and there's lots to enjoy there. Oh, yes. And my third and final place that I love the most, I was saving the best for last, (laughs) is Toronto, Canada. But no, actually, Toronto did become one of my favorite places. I actually talked about it in an interview there. Um, Toronto did become one of my favorite places this past uh, trip, just because, A, the people are amazing. Like, I experienced some of the most polite and respectable fan interactions of my my entire life. It it was mind-blowing how just polite and thoughtful everybody was. Um, and you have Toys R Us, and you have one of the best gyms I've ever been to in my life. So, Toronto checks all the boxes for me. I know you just said Italy is a good place for pizza, but I don't. I don't think I would last a minute there because I've heard. I've heard. I would want to go to New York for pizza because my friend went to New York and he said it was delicious. But in Italy, someone like I saw it off YouTube or something. That if you if like they put like cheese like wedges on your che- pizza if you ask for more it's like disrespectful so I don't think I'd last a second. Yeah, you need all the cheese, huh? Yep, I'm a cheese. I would <laughs> just go. I would just go rig a cheese. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would dip it in ketchup. Thank you. I'm serious. Like I'll go. Yum. <laughs> you give them all a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any pets? And if you do, what are their names? And which is funny? What what are is one funny story that you have to, that you have about them? Uh, I do have a pet, a dog. Um, his name is Crypto. Uh, same as Superman's dog's name. Yep, I was about to see that. <laughs> yeah, they they look similar too. He's a big white lab. Um, so he looks like Superman's dog. 
I, I know I have a million funny stories, but now that you put me on the spot, I'm not going to be able to think of one. I'll try to think of a funny crypto story as we continue. I'll see if something pops up. All right. I got one from my dog. Her name's What you got? She, have you ever, like, heard of the wrestler? Oh, yeah, you have, of course, because you wrestle, you wrestle in the same... Wait, I don't think she was there. Great town. Have you ever heard of the wrestler Jody Threat? Yes. My dog's named after her. Does she have red hair? Yes. Yeah, yeah, super cool chick. Yeah. My my dog is a kind of a um. How do I say this nicely? Brainless. (laughs) (laughs) And and I work with a lot of those people. One of those one time, (laughs) we put her in a Halloween costume that was like a taco costume, and she tried to go onto the couch. She got stuck, and she pulled out of the couch, and then she actually tried to do it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dogs are funny, aren't they? Yeah. I love them. Many, many people may not know <laughs> that you were raised by a single mother. What would you say the biggest lesson you learned from her that you still use in your life today? <sighs> Oh, man, I think the biggest thing I've learned from my mother is just treating everyone equally. Uh, My mother has a huge heart, and she's very kind. She's very giving. Uh, So I think the best thing I've learned from her is to just treat everyone with respect, uh, help people when you can, and always just give back. Oh, by the way, fun fact about Greek Town today. I'm going to Greek. I'm going to Ham all the way to Hamilton with a 45 minute drive plus maybe traffic for a Greek Town show. Yeah. Tell my boy Channing Decker Wardlow said, "What's up?" I literally said, "I literally, I'm gonna. I drove to London for two hours for a show. Two hour drive to London." Oh wow. Yeah, I'm I'm unstoppable when it comes to Greek Town. You're a diehard fan. We we respect and appreciate that. I can't. I I wish you were there for when Sabu came. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. Uh, can we do one more question? Of course. Um. Also, can we set up a part two? Because I know you're like you're trying to run like. You're busy and stuff, so. Yeah, we can do this I... again for sure. All right, we'll have a part two, and I'll have these questions ready for you. Okay. I always tell my viewers to never give up and be yourself. What is your favorite life saying or motto? Oh, God. One of my recent favorites came from a gentleman named Cody Rhodes who told me, spend the money now and make more later. (laughs) 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 Which which I've taken too closely to heart. Um, But I know I have a more important life motto, I'm sure. I don't know, man. I just feel like uh, with life, stop trying to control so much. Uh, I'm a big believer that It's already mapped out for us. Our whole life, our whole plan is already mapped out. So stop trying to control so much. Stop trying to figure so much out um, because it's already figured out for you. So just just live the life that has been planned for you because it's it's already written in stone. So just live it. Stop trying to control so much, figure out so much. You're just stressing yourself out. Just let go. Sometimes you just got to float. I may have to follow that that motto. <laughs> yeah, man. Sometimes you just got to float. Guys, that's all the time we have for today, that we have for today. I want to take a moment to say a huge thank you to Wardlow for taking the time to come to the Comeback Corner Radio. It meant so much. It meant so, 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 so much to me and was a dream come true. I can't wait until until you come back up here to Toronto for another show. Do you have any final words for my viewers, Wardlow? 
Uh, I just want to say thank you for having me. I think it's very impressive what you do at your age. Uh, it's very admirable. Um, and also, I want to say, Justin Roberts, watch out because uh, he's coming for you. <laughs> you heard it, Justin. You heard it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I thank you, man. You're if it, if there's no wrestler to come on my channel, there's nothing. I'm nothing. Like I can't do anything. So thank you. You got it, buddy. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to lay an F10 on that like button and a Powerbomb Symphony on that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, always remember to never give up and be yourself. Bye, guys! What's up guys, TNT champ Wardlow here from All Elite Wrestling. Um, here to tell you guys to subscribe to Steven's Wrestling Journey. Steven's Wrestling Journey. Subscribe now or get power bombed.